Nicola Frau. I think I need one of these actually. An Oti breakfast drink. <laughs> Have you got one spare there? Oh, I'm sure there'll be one somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> but a good way to start your day. Yes, well, breakfast, breaking the fast overnight, the most important meal of the day. Um, so, yeah, it's it's important that you have the right combination in your breakfast. So we've talked before about how important it is and also the three components that, that are important there. There's your carbohydrate part um, and your protein and then making sure you get some vitamins and minerals in there, so making sure you have some fruit or vegetables, that sort of thing as well. So remind us, what are the three essential parts of breakfast. So those those parts could be with your um, your carbohydrate, you might have bread, you might have cereals, um, something like that. Um, your protein could be your milk, your yoghurt and eggs, peanut butter, bit of a mix of those things. And then um, like I say the, the vitamins and minerals, so your um, your fresh fruit or vegetables. So um, today we're going to talk about a smoothie and mm. quite, quite, or a frappe we like to call it um, and quite often that, that might be just your two components so you've got your protein often with your milk or yoghurt that sort of thing and um, you might put a banana or some fruit or something in it but sometimes the, um, the carbohydrate part can be missing so that's what we're going to we're going to fix. Okay so where do the oats fit into a frappe? <laughs> so <laughs> um, yeah so today we're in the recipe we're adding some oats to a, um, a, a smoothie and um, the fruit that we're using is frozen bananas so you know when your bananas start to go brown and you think oh no one's going to eat them what on earth are we going to do or with them? Or banana cake. <laughs> or banana cake of course. <laughs> um, then um, peel them, pop them in a bag in the freezer and just and, and freeze them and they make the most amazing um, smoothies. Mm. If you blend, blend up just one banana per person, just chop it up into chunks and then pop it in the blender and it comes out like those beautiful frappes that you buy at the coffee shops, just lovely and thick and it gives it a really creamy texture. Texture. The banana just blends in, it's almost like banana ice cream, it's just delicious. And <laughs> we put, like put the oats into that so um, just the, the ready oats uh, that are sort of ground a bit rather than whole oats because whole oats would have the texture would be a little bit too um, crunchy I think but mm. yeah so you can put the the partly ground oats about a um, quarter of a cup of those into the into the blend as well and it's it's really tasty. So Absolutely why are gorgeous. oats a better start to a day than other cereals because there's a lot of cereals yeah. out there isn't yeah. there Nicola? Well the oats are actually low GI so they give you a sustained energy release um, so they're, they're great to sort of suppress the appetite for the rest of the morning and keep you fuller for longer and of course there's the, the raw oats are perfectly natural, no sugar added, so they're so much better than some of these other cereals that are often a third sugar or even more than that. So they're really a great start to the day. And there's lots of other health benefits though of oats, yeah. and crikey, they're so cheap. Absolutely, yes, yeah, so saving, saving the budget is, is one <laughs> great yeah. benefit. Um, but they're also um, well known for um, the fibre in them that can um, help reduce cholesterol. Um, and the fibre also is, is great for our gut. Um, and for people with diabetes, um, they're good at helping you manage your blood sugars, particularly type 2 diabetes. So they're quite similar actually. Last week we talked about chickpeas mm. and they're really similar um, in what they're made up of and also the effect on the body. They're both great. Yeah, just don't great mix up things. the chickpeas in your food, No, hey? no just don't I don't think, think so. Taste, really. <laughs> uh, are they gluten free? Well, they, and naturally they actually are gluten free, but because the way the oats are usually grown in a rotation crop, they're often grown in a crop uh, in an area where it might have been wheat the year before or some other um, grain that had gluten in it. So right. they're, they're not usually gluten free um, unless they've been specifically grown to be that way. So um, you can get gluten free oats, but you just have to watch out for them that they've been grown appropriately so that they don't take on that gluten. And oats you always think automatically of porridge. You do. <laughs> These other things you can use them in, yes. isn't it? Yeah, so we, you can use them in muffins, you can use them in pancakes, um, yeah, or pikelets, that sort of thing. Um, obviously you can make your own muesli. Mm. Um, yes, but, but yes, try them in a 
frappe, <laughs> a frozen banana frappe. It's a, a great way to sort of use them a bit differently. And can I say, I know it's naughty, but um, ginger crunch and your oats and your base is actually quite tasty as well. well that ignore is, what's on top, ignore what's right. on top. Well, it, it changes it to give it higher fibre, so you're making it healthier. Phew, I've got the for it. <laughs> yeah. So um, after the break, we will be with Nicola on location with her beautiful oaty banana frappe. <laughs> Gorgeous, sounds divine. So look yeah. forward to that. Remember, Nourish Nutrition Limited, nourish.org.nz is the website. Fantastic Facebook page. Remember, don't forget to ask questions, Nicola. She loves it. It's health through food.